Hey, good morning, everyone. How's it going? So what am I working on now? Well, actually, I'm working on that GMC Sierra again. I think I might have called it a Silverado yesterday, but it's a Sierra. Um, the 4.3 with the um, running issue, the um, with the coolant temp and stuff like that. So anyway, I haven't done anything yet. It's cold out here this morning. It's like 37. Uh, but So anyway, all I did so far was I popped the hood because I wanted to verify the coolant level because I had lost coolant yesterday. I took it for a ride and everything else. But that's all I've done so far. So let's go inside. So this is going to be a cold start. And I want to hook my scanner up because I want to see what it's reading. So let's do that. Let's turn the key on. There we go. Previous vehicles, vehicle history. So there we are. There's our Sierra right there. Let's go back to this view. So we're going to go back to data. And it was actually, I found it's easier if I just go into, um, into I think it was engine data. Yeah, yeah, I can find it easier. It's like 37 or 42 or something now. Okay, yeah, 37. So you can see 37 and startup ECT 37. Intake air is actually at 33. So let's see if it does anything stupid. Yeah, it starts just like my truck. So everything seems fine there. I think I'm good with that. I didn't see any blips, anything weird. My 4.3 pretty much starts the same. I have a 06 Silverado 4.3, but mine's a four-wheel drive and it's a stick shift. And uh, let me tell you one thing, smooth truck, I, I love the truck. It's a turtle on the road, it's slow. Um, you ain't winning a drag race with that thing, unless maybe you're racing a 72 Mercedes 220 diesel with a, with a four-speed. I owned one of those, I, that's a slower car, amazingly enough. But yeah, so. Uh, I'm going to take this thing for a ride, and uh, I just want to verify everything's good. I, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident it is, but some of you asked, you know, I, how is the starting issue and stuff like that, so I figured I'd just show you. So let me take it for a quick ride, so this is just going to be a short video. All right, let's go, pick, let's go for a quick ride. When I come back, then we'll just finish this video up. So I went for a ride. I decided I need to stop at my favorite store. Yep. Uh, but anyway, it, the truck is running great. I got no complaints, no issues. That little weird stumble that it did yesterday, too. Remember the idle would all of a sudden blip down and stuff like that? None of that. It's all gone. So let me go run into Harbor Freight. Uh, I broke my darn multimeter, my fluke. And I broke my snap-on. So I need to get a, I need to get a, just a cheap meter. So let me go do that. All right. So I grabbed myself a cheap meter. Um, I mean, I, I actually bought the best one that they had. So hopefully this should do what I need it to do. I want to just check this thing for a parasitic draw. Like I said, I actually, my fluke meter was, I bought that in 1997. And it finally broke on me. Um, and of course I called fluke. They don't, they don't service that one anymore. It was a fluke 88, I think it was, or fluke 87. But that version is no longer service. No longer, they don't have any, they don't do anything with it. So they offered me a new version at a very discounted price. So I'm waiting for that to show up. And then of course I was using my Snap-on. I prefer my Fluke to be totally honest with you. Uh, but I was using my Snap-on and something went, I don't know what happened with it. It just, it wasn't working right. I was getting all sorts of weird readings out of it. And I was like, something's really wrong here. So I sent that out for service. So I'm waiting to get one of the two back. So I need something for right now. So this one, it was a hundred bucks. Plus, they had a, a, a service plan with it, which, you know, you could run a darn thing over and they'll still replace it. So I was like, you know what, for 20 bucks, I'll do that. I'm already spending 100 so I may as well do that. So I, I bought the service plan with it for 20 bucks or 21 bucks, whatever it costs. So I'm going to go back to the shop and I'm going to do a parasitic draw test on this. And I'll probably make a separate video for that. But let me get back to the shop. Actually, let's do the, cold, uh, the hot restart. So here we go. perfect i mean it started right up that was absolutely perfect all right let's go back to the shop all right guys so i just went for uh or i'm back at the shop i should say and everything is great i mean the truck is running fantastic 
the truck ran decent earlier. I mean, before we sold it, it ran decent. You know, it had a little hiccup here and there, like especially the idle thing. We did notice that beforehand, but it never had any codes. We could never see anything. You know, we checked a few things. I actually changed the map sensor and the TPS just to be on the safe side because we thought it could have possibly been something with that. And the guy drove it for since, I think it was August. He had it August. So now it's, you know, end of November before it actually had any kind of an issue that he was concerned with. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, the truck is running great, so I'm, I'm confident it's fixed. It's never run this good before. So, that's probably why it wound up in auction, too, because somebody probably tried to fix it and couldn't figure it out. But anyway, uh, yeah, so if you're getting something out of my videos, hit that like button. If you could, please subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe, too. I'd appreciate it. All right, have a great day. Keep wrenching.